Hey everybody, it's Chris at Tipton and Hurst. And so all, all of our friends at the flower business, as well as all of our Tipton and Hurst family, it's happy, happy hour. So we're gonna try to put together a little bit of happy for you today. We're gonna do something a little bit um, more contemporary. We had people request contemporary arrangements. So we thought we'd do something along that line. We're gonna use some quince, some pink mink protea. These are beautiful, by the way. Well, they're not really pink mink, they're in their variety of them. And then some dianthus, which is in the carnation family, believe it or not. Some monastera leaves, and then also some seed eucalyptus. So today we're gonna to work with, I mean, I'm kind of old school. And I've been very blessed to be taught by some really very good mentors that have told me over the years about Inkavana design and different types of Japanese style. Actually, her name was Kobe, and she worked here for, oh my gosh, probably 30 years. And I was very blessed to have her men mentor me in design um, the last 10 years that I worked, that she worked at Tipton and Hearst. And so she actually studied this, this form in Japan as a child. Over there, flower design is almost like uh, being a minister or going to a seminary. They, they use them in the temples, they use all the flowers, and they all have different meanings. So what we're gonna do is take some of the meanings and also incorporate some of our design techniques that we use now in the States and also in Europe. So the first technique we're gonna use is called framing. And we're actually gonna make a frame with these branches. If I can get it to cut, I think I've got the hot butter knife again. And then, oh, did that go on my shirt? I think it did, I'll be wearing it at home. Anyway, and then, another branch here. And what I've done, I've got these little runners going that way, so we're gonna frame it this way to have these runners go that way. I think I'm gonna try these cutters to cut it down first. There we go. And then we're gonna take our knife and do a little bit longer cut so it inserts better. Into there. To that. Another great American designer that's actually helped us understand this design form is High Tommy Gillum. And she's amazing, and she's taught American design, Americanized a lot of this technique for all of us to use. And so we want to shout out to Hot Tommy for thanking us for teaching this to all of us. So basically, I've made a frame, meaning I'm going to utilize the void space in the middle. So it's like a picture frame. Here's my face, here's the frame, basically. So in traditional Ikebana, I believe that's the term you want to use. It would be you do three three levels, and so and usually you use a garden club style. Would say you would do one or one, three or five. So you always use odd numbers. So people that know me know that we're not going to do that. We're going to do four. So the first insertion would be here. I'm going to clean that one off again. I'm actually not pulling, I'm pu pulling away from me. I'm not pulling in this way, I'm pushing out. So, don't wanna cut yourself. So there's one. Then we'll do two. And then we're gonna actually do two together to be our focal point at the base. do it backwards. That's always my excuse that doesn't look good. Well, I did it backwards, so. Insert that one right on top of that one. So basically, what Kobe always told me that there's three levels, meaning that this is heaven, this is man, and this is earth. And man's always trying to go from heaven, from earth to heaven. So that's why there's always three levels. So now we'll go back and take two. Actually, let's go back and use our dianthus, which is, of course, in the carnation family. But it looks like moss. Makes it a lot easier. There. Then, for a little bit more exaggeration, I want to actually insert the seed eucalyptus, which I love. It has such great texture and everything. To there. I always like a little bit of droop. I guess because I droop, so. 
for that. And they're gonna use two on stereo leaves. So I think we'll put this one, I'm gonna cut it right to the tip there. And it'll be a sort of right down there. And to add a little bit more interest, so let me clean this one up. I've actually had this in my car because I was gonna do this the other day at home. And I had some uh, mechanical problems. And I'll layer that one on top. And that's called shadowing. So basically, this leaf shadows on top of that leaf. So hopefully that looks pretty cool from out over there. How's it look, girls? Looks good? Good. Okay. Anyway, so basically we've used a couple different techniques. Framing, layer, layering, I mean shadowing, and then the old Japanese style. So just a little happy today. Some fun things that we're going to work on, which I want y'all to kind of get together as far as the flower family out there. We're going to do a competition. And all those that cooked up at home, we're going to have an Easter table decorating competition. So what I need y'all to do is to, is to send us pictures of your home decor for Easter setup. And then we're going to decide who's got the best table by the most likes. And then from there, we'll go back and give you some actually Easter flowers to put on your table with that. So let's get to work on that. And that's probably where we're going to be going the rest of this week. So we're going to be doing Easter projects, some fun things to do with your kids all along. So just trying to be a little happy so we can kind of get our mind off what's going on around the world, which can be a little bit depressing right now, but we're going to get through it one way or the other. So thank y'all for watching and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.